So in this presentation, I'm going to show you how to import your field survey data from Leica Captivate into Civil 3D for field to finish line work. So a couple of things we need to take a look at and make sure our settings are correct. Uh, this, this video does assume that you have a working knowledge of Leica Captivate coding and line work collection and also a working knowledge of Civil 3D. So we need to take a look in Civil 3D at our line work code set. Our line work code set houses our draw commands uh, that uh, makes the fill to finish process work in Civil 3D. So there are some settings that we need to make sure that we have set correctly. Uh, one setting that you're going to want to change by is the feature code delimiter. Uh, that will be a space by default and you want to set this to an asterisk that will make our export formats coming from Leica Captivate work correctly. The other thing we need to do is we need to match our special codes to our coding line work settings in Captivate. So I've started like a Captivate and we want to check our coding settings. So we'll go to settings, customization, coding, and we'll access our line work tab here. And so what we need to do is we need to match our line work code set to our settings in like a Captivate. So you'll notice here that we have our begin line set to an S, our continue line set to C, our close set to CLS, and then our begin and end curve is set to PC and PT, and our point on curve is set to OC. And in Captivate, we have our, the same settings. Our begin line is set to S, we, our begin three point arc, and our begin and end spline are set to PC and PT, and our close line here is set to CLS. Uh, one note in like a Captivate, these fields need to be set before you begin your project. Uh, so once these are set correctly, you're able then to export your data. So I have a project here called Rose Hill Park, and I want just to take a second and we'll take a brief look at that project. So I'll go to my 3D viewer. You'll notice that we have about 360 points here and, and several lines that we've located. So Again, let's go ahead and export this data and we'll go ahead and, in, and import that into Civil 3D. So I will click on my job, go to export data. I'm going to export data with a format file. So I'll select here ASCII with a format file. And the format file I'm going to use is C3D and then we have point number, northing, easting, height, description or code, line work, and this format file is designed to bring over at least two attributes uh, on your point codes. I'm going to store this data in the USB drive um, under the data directory and this is the name of the file rosehillpark.txt. I will attach this format file in the link to this description and you'll be able to download the file for use on your Captivate controller from there. So let's go ahead and finish the export so I'll press OK. Close like a Captivate and I've opened my text file in a in a notepad reader and one of the things I want to point out to you is uh, when you collect data off a real-time network with like a Captivate we always bring in the reference station and this reference station will be labeled with um, the name RTCM-REF and then the number of the reference station uh, this will this point will cause Civil 3D to have a problem interpreting the file correctly. So one of the things you might need to do is either renumber this point or delete it from the file. Since it is a reference point, since it's not on our site, I'm going to go ahead and delete this and close this and save it. Close my file. So I'm now back in Civil 3D. The process to import the data into Civil 3D is this. I will go to Survey Databases, right click and say New Local Survey Database, give the project a name and press OK. Once I've done that, I can right click and tell it to import survey data. I'll select my project and press Next. And now I will select my point file. So this looks correct, so I'll press Next. I'm not going to create a new survey network, so I'll press Next. You'll notice our point file format, a couple of other things that you do want to make sure you check here is that your current figure prefix database is set correctly. 
but your line work code set is set correctly. You do have the option to change these at this point. You do want to process your line work during import. So we'll show you the name. We are going to insert survey, uh, insert figure objects, and we are going to insert survey points. We do want to make sure that also that we have it set here to process our line work sequence by import order. If this is all set correctly, you can press finish. You may see some duplicate points. We do occasionally have duplicate points in our files. Uh, when we close lines, that's okay. We can ignore those. And our points have, came, have come in and our line work has come in. I'm going to go ahead and rescale my drawing here just a little bit so that our line work is a bit more visible. And we can zoom in and check some of our lines. So we're now ready to start our drawing.